Hi, I'm going to make sausage rolls. Um, sausage rolls using short crust pastry. Um, interestingly, I was looking on YouTube just to check out what everyone else is doing out there. And I was amazed to find uh, every video, were you, they were using shop brought puff pastry. Uh, we don't want to do that. A, it adds to the cost. B, it adds to food miles. Um, and you know what? I actually like uh, short crust pastry with my sausage rolls. A little bit more traditional. A little bit, uh, a little bit more interesting. Um, so, as always, I'm going to include um, technique, a little science in here, and a little nutrition in here. Uh, so, you know, pay attention and in, and and and, in, and enjoy because you'll certainly enjoy the sausage rolls. Great. So let's get started here. I have got 200 grams of plain flour. You can, of course, make it with wholemeal flour as well, or half to half, which is better. And that increases the fiber content, which again is better for us. Okay, and here I have 100 grams of uh, willow, which is. Um, a dairy alternative to butter. Obviously, butter is 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 is, is great. It's delicious, but the the downside to butter is a saturated fat. Saturated fats are aren't great for us. Okay, they're not great for us at all. Um, a pinch of salt, just normal table salt in there, and I've got some chilled water, which we'll come to in a minute. Okay, so technique. Cube your butter up quite small because we're using our fingertips and the method we're using is called the rubbing in method. Okay, we're rubbing it in and we rub it in with the, our fingertips because they're the coolest part of our hands. So don't be tempted to get your hands all in there and squeezing it in because that's not what we want. What we want is the, te you know, the texture of uh, fine breadcrumbs. Okay, fine breadcrumbs. Uh, it's a very sandy texture. Uh, and that then we know it's, it's thoroughly rubbed in if it isn't thoroughly rubbed in you will get uh, pieces of the fat and we don't want that we want we want our pastry to be lovely and crisp okay so this method is actually quite easy to do by hand and but if you want to speed things up use the food processor to be fair at home often we will use a food processor because it literally takes this part out of it. But, you know, I like to think we're starting our journey together um, of learning how to cook classic dishes, dishes that you're gonna be able to eat at home. There's so many shows out there that are full of fancy dishes with fancy ingredients and they have a place, of course they do. But what I'm going to concentrate on initially is good, basic cookery cookery that will help our lifestyle will help how we feel about ourselves eliminating preservatives and additives and all the chemicals that are added to food that we buy when it's ready made we should actually think about the carbon footprint as well um, and cutting down on plastics okay so this is almost done now it doesn't take long at all we use our fingertips as I said to call as part of our body and the method we're using is rubbing in sausage rolls oh goodness me I love sausage rolls um, who doesn't great for picnics great for snacks I kind of always think of Christmas actually as well with sausage rolls um, and you can buy, you can, look, honestly, I, I have to say, I have never been able to buy a good sausage roll from the supermarket, from the chilled counters. They all tend to be very sort of soggy. Yeah, I like the pastry to have a little crispness. Yes, you have to go to your high street baker to get a decent sausage roll. Um, but there is a cost attached to that. Right? They're, not, they're not cheap. So by doing things yourself, you're really reducing the cost element more in your household bu budgets really important and part of the things i'm going to be uh, 
to do with, along with you with these videos is to, is to look at how we buy our food, how we store our food, and what our food actually does for us. Right, okay, so that, that is perfect now. You've got lovely breadcrumbs. So now we need to introduce the water. Make a little well in the middle, as always. Four tablespoons chilled water. It has to be chilled. If it's not, you're going to melt the fat, and we don't want that. Just remember, you can always add, but you can't take away. So try not to splosh it in regardless, okay? Food is a science, and especially where pastry is concerned, and any kind of bakery, measurements are important. Not so bad when you're making sauces and savoury dishes, because you can interpret it, take them a little better to your own tastes. You know, add a little more chilli if you like it hot, you know, a little or less salt. Now this starts to come together to form a dough. And as you can see, the four tablespoons of cold water is perfect. Keep massaging it. And again, try not to overwork your pastry. At this stage, we can now take it out of the bowl onto the table. Perfect. So, I'm just going to slowly massage this. Not adding any more flour to it on, uh, at all at this stage. We will add a little flour when we're rolling it out. But here we just want to bring the dough together. And it's always referred to as a dough. I know we associate the word dough with um, making bread. But biscuits, cookie dough for instance, dough is a word that we use for this. So that's a lovely ball of pastry. Um, you can pop it in the fridge if your kitchen's really warm. Um, but it's quite cool in here. So, uh, and, we, and we want to, we want to get this done. Okay, I'm just going to wash my hands quickly, won't be a moment. So, the next thing, the next thing we're going to move on to is, is the sausage meat. The, the, the most economical way to, um, to buy your sausage meat is, is to buy sausages, okay? But you have to remove it from the skin. Okay, the sausage meat inside the skin. Now the other advantage um, with buying it as a sausage, they're all pre-seasoned. So you can look, you've got Lincolnshire, these are Cumberland. So you've got nice, nice, nice herbs in there, a little bit of pepper. Um, but if you want to add your own mixes, um, to sausage meat that's plain, it's fantastic. You know, you might want to add chili in it. So we're bringing this together, the sausage meat. I'll just show you how to prepare it. Okay, good. So I have a little bowl here that I'm using the flour just for my, just for my meat, my raw meat. And I'm using a, you can see I'm using a red board here. Um, you, most homes don't have red boards. You don't have to use different colour boards for everything you do, but what you must do is always make sure that you wash it before you use it for something else and anti-back it so you don't get cross-contamination. So cross-contamination is when raw produce mixes with produce that you're not going to cook, i.e. a sandwich, for instance. Um, today, uh, of course, we are just preparing our sausage rolls. Uh, just wash my hands again. Preparing our sausage rolls. And that's all we're doing in the kitchen at the moment. Um, make sure that after you finish, you thoroughly wipe down your surfaces. So next thing we need now to move on to is um, preparing and rolling out our dough. Always lightly flour the work surface and always cut your pastry down. Don't try and roll out the whole amount um, and expect to be able to do it in an orderly fashion, okay? So reform that into a dough. 
and take your rolling pin. Now when we're rolling out pastry, it's important, two things that are important, is not to introduce too much flour on the work surface that you're rolling out onto, because that will start to harden off your pastry. So very lightly, lightly dust. It's there just to stop the rolling pin sticking to the pastry, okay? So we don't want to. And you can see by looking at pastry, the fat is all incorporated in. It looks very rich. Um, and it's moist enough to roll and handle well. Okay, we're just gonna trim this up because it's all, it's good to, to work tidily. And to make, you don't, we won't waste this pastry. We will be able to um, reuse it because we've not overworked it. Okay, so here we have uh, a nice egg wash. You can use uh, milk. Again, if you have any allergies towards eggs, you can use milk. If you are a vegetarian, um, you're fine with eggs. But if you're a vegan, you won't want to. So you don't necessarily have to glaze. Glaze will give you, so we've egg washed that and now we roll the pastry onto that and that will help and work as a glue. We don't, we don't want the sausage roll separating. So we'll turn it around. Okay, and now we're going to, to cut it. I mean, you can cook these huge, like a jumbo sausage roll, why not? But they'll take a lot longer to cook. Okay, so what we're going to do we're going to make what we call cocktail size. So out of this one, I'm going to cut it into six. Okay, I'll put our tray here. Now I've lined the tray with greaseproof paper. Um, it just helps with A, uh, your pastry products not sticking, but also makes it easier to clean up. Again, so I've divided, cut it in half, and then each half I've cut into six. Six lovely little sausage rolls there, like so. Beautiful. So now what we're going to do, we're going to glaze these now. Now the glazing is, is quite important. So we've used the egg to help stick the pastry together. And now what we want it to do is help give us a really nice golden finish onto our sausage rolls. If you, as I said, if you're allergic to egg or you don't have dairy products, the pastry will naturally brown and that's called dextration. And the best way to, uh, for you to understand that is to consider a slice of bread and you put it in your toaster and it turns out a lovely golden brown. And that is the effect of heat on starch and that's called dextration, okay? Um, and that's exactly what will happen with your pastry products anyway, quite naturally. Um, the, the, the change of, of, of color and texture. Okay, so the, the, the texture of pastry, you want it crisp. We hear so much about soggy bottoms, don't we, um, on Cookery Show. Now, the other thing that the glaze will do, it, in, it enables you to uh, perhaps put some, a little bit of rock salt on top of the sausage roll and the glaze will help stick that rock salt to the pastry. You could use sesame seeds, poppy seeds, anything like that. It's an absolute super thing. So we have got our sausage rolls. We're now going to put them in a preheated oven at 180 for around about um, 20 minutes. You need to ensure, now a lot of people have problems with how do I uh, how do I know it's cooked? How do I know that it's safe to eat? Well, a really good kitchen aid is is a thermometer. Okay, you put it inside, and a digital readout the core temperature of meat in order for it to be safe. 
is 75 degrees. So if it reads 75 degrees, you know that it's cooked and you know that it's safe to eat. So a good purchase to have, I have to say. Um, okay, so these are gonna go into the oven and then what we will end up with, just give the table a little wipe down, what we'll end up with is, is these. So these are ones we cooked a little earlier uh, and you can see that they look absolutely delicious. Uh, nice and golden, beautiful, uh, generous amount of meat. Uh, they're not collapsed like you often get with a, with a sausage roll made with puff pastry, which is quite fatty. And I, and I think sausage meat is quite fatty. So uh, the combination of the two, um, I think don't work as well as this. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please um, give me the thumbs up and subscribe. That's brilliant. Thank you. Bye.